Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex. That's Curvy. Today we're gonna to be reacting to Steve Harvey. Check this video out. Really, man, when you hustling and grinding, yes, that's that's a cost for everything. You don't get here free, right? This this come with a cost, right? And it's gonna cost you a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. It's gonna cost you a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. You know, people they got mad at me one time because I I did drop the video where I was talking about if you want to get rich, you can't sleep eight hours. Right. And then here come all the haters online talking about Steve Harvey prefers wealth over health. No, I don't. But at the same time, if you trying to get it and talking about to really have yeah. it, you gotta lock and load, man. Right. You sleep eight hours, you sleep a third of your life. Now you tell me how you gonna get successful and you sleep a third of your life. Help me understand that, how that's possible. All right. Kirby, I love this video. So I'm gonna I'm let you, I'm gonna, <laughs> yo, oh man, this is like, he, he just, he said it so well, you know, had all his words collected. He know, knew exactly how to make his point, get his point across. So, but I'll let you, I'll let you put, uh, give your thoughts on it. Um. And and Alex, you always say this, and I don't think people really understand when because you said this many times, but I laugh at it when you say Kirby on you know social media and Kirby in real life is two different people. You're you're right. I mean, me, I try to stay in the PG 13 realm uh when I'm you know doing these videos and things like that. But I'll say it like this. Um I'll say it like this. One on one with Kirby, you'll walk out of a conversation and you can see the matrix. You'll be like, there it is. <laughs> You're like, I see, I see life and death. Like it, it's you know, it, it's it's all facts. And and so to Steve Harvey, to Steve Harvey's point, I live by this motto. I mean, I live by it, I stand by it, and you know, of course, I'm nowhere near, I'm not even. 0.0001% as famous as Steve Harvey. But so, you know, maybe he care about the haters or whatever, but I live by this point. If you're broke, but you sleep at night, I don't feel sorry for you. I just don't. I mean, I've been broke. And I can sleep. I mean, literally, I mean, me as a man... You know, trying to, you know, trying to be head of the household. You know, I know we in 2000, you know, 23 and man shouldn't be head of the household or whatever the heck new movement we got going on now. I don't really care about that, but I couldn't sleep in it. I mean, literally the the sound of the empty bank account, the no money in my pockets was keeping me wide awake at night. I'm thinking of the next thing to do, next thing to do. I didn't have a clue. But I, I wasn't sleeping while I was going through it. So with him saying that you can't sleep, if you broke, you can't sleep at night, if you really want to get it, I stand by that wholeheartedly. I mean, hell, even now, I have way more than I had back when I was broke, but I barely sleep now because I want more. I strive to go get more. And, you know, everybody's a health expert and all this other Bull crap that they, you know, they say, like he said, they said, oh, he believed wealth over health. So what? Everybody that said that was broke as hell when he said it. But the reason why that they say it, because they don't have no other comeback. So they got to be a troll or be a keyboard warrior to say something. So the only thing they can find, oh, he see wealth over health. Yeah. So the hell what? And that's the that's the part that's very the the part that really has me fired up when people say that because I hear it all the time. I I mean I hear it all the time because I will tell anybody any day of the week if you broke and you fall asleep at night I don't feel sorry for you. So Alex, I'll let you go before I get on my soapbox and then it gets crazy. It's hard to put it into words how success is obtained, like. Because people, like you said, they are, they're always going to have excuses, you know, oh, you need to have eight hours of sleep to be healthy and all this. When you're really chasing success, I think that's the only thing that's on your mind. It's the only thing you care about. And I can remember when I was first starting out, 
I mean, I had problems with like insomnia, you know what I mean? Like I couldn't sleep and it wasn't like, oh, I just felt broke. It was just like, I was so infatuated with the idea that I figured something out that I could chase it and I could perfect it and get it to the point where I could make something out of it. So it was like, I was constantly thinking about it. And honestly, and I mentioned this in another video, but I still am thinking about finance and building and creating more wealth every single day, every single morning, every single night, you know, throughout the whole day. And it becomes a lifestyle. And as you said, you know, sometimes, you know, <clears throat> when you've got something rolling, then it's even harder to sleep because like you just want to accomplish that. And when you want success, I mean, I've even there's even been days where I've like I've forgotten like, oh, I haven't even eaten like because I've, I've been so focused on doing something. And it's not saying to intentionally go and kill yourself. It's not saying that it's be so focused on it that you will do anything it takes and have no excuses to accomplish those goals. And so when you when someone tells you this is the blueprint to achieve wealth and you say, oh, but I have to go to sleep at 10 o'clock at night. Why mm -hmm. it, are, are you even tired? You know what I mean? Are you falling asleep physically or can you still function and do the task and get done? And it's a. Uh, you know, like even um, Andrew Tate, he mentions that how he doesn't sleep until he is literally exhausted. He will keep working until he's exhausted. It's not like he thinks, oh, I've got stuff to do tomorrow. It's no, I'll just sleep when I'm like physically falling asleep and then I'll get right back up and go back to the grind. It's, you know, and I think people, they make too many excuses. And that's the hardest thing to put into words is explaining to people how there should be no excuses. Right, right. Are, and, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, and and the the one the, the is one thing that people need to understand. They don't understand math. So this thing is twenty four hours in a day. You sleep eight hours. You got sixteen left. Right now, you know I went to private public school, so make sure I'm doing my math correct. But it's twenty four hours in a day. Eight hours of sleep. You got sixteen hours left. People that work a job that, you know, for the most part, eight hour job is not eight hours. It's not nine to five. Like the song goes, working nine to five. It's not nine to five. It's 830 to five. So that's eight and a half hours because no job in America is paying you to go on lunch. And, you know, depending on what your lunch is, 30 minutes to an hour, that's, you know, neither here nor there. So that's eight and a half hours. Now you add another 45 minutes to an hour and a half traveling to and from work. That's 10 hours. So with sleep and just work, that's 18 hours. What you got? Six hours left? In 24? So think cooking breakfast, if you do that, cooking dinner, if you do that, that's what? Another two to three hours. You got three hours left. If you don't sacrifice something to get to where you want to, you will never get anywhere. You know, my favorite adage is if you want something extreme, you have to do something extreme. So if at the end of the month, you have no money at the end of the month because of your paycheck and you want to do something like, say, I want to have five thousand dollars extra after I pay all my bills. That's an extreme from zero to five thousand is the extreme. What extreme are you going to do? What sacrifices are you going to make to make that go from zero to 5,000 at the end of the month? And, you know, they, they bring up celebrities and stuff like that. And everything, people only see the celebrity part. They only see basketball players when they're on ESPN or whatever the, the uh, music, I mean, not the music, but the, uh, the sports channels are, Fox Sports and yada, yada, yada. Movie stars, they only see them when they hit the box office. They ain't see all the nights they was reading screenplays, getting rejected on auditions, uh, sports athletes, all the training that they go through, you know, six, six, eight hour training days. The nutrition, the discipline and nutrition they got to have to keep their figures and keep the body weight and keep all the stuff. They didn't on top of more practice, on top of film study, on top of all this stuff. They only see that two and a half hours that they're on TV, but they don't see the other 
80, 90 hours a week that they got to put in to make it happen. They say, oh, well, celebrities, they just get to do whatever they want. But no matter who you are, no matter if you Joe Blow that work at the 7-Eleven on the corner, or if you LeBron James living on food stamps in Akron, Ohio, you have to do something extreme to get from zero to that imaginary number in your head that you want to get to. And the extreme for him was putting in the work. Putting in the work. LeBron James wasn't sitting there at, you know, 12 or 13 years old, like, oh, well, I, I got to make sure I get enough sleep. Kobe Bryant, he's notorious. They have many videos of him talking about, oh, Kobe Bryant wakes up at 3 o'clock and start training. Practice starts at 10 in the morning. He's already in the gym, got a full workout in at 6 in the morning, and then still do practice. Everybody want to do the bare minimum and then sit their ass on the couch and think somebody's going to just hand them a boatload of money. And then when people like you, Alex, go and put in extra work, extra time and things like that, the lazy people that won't do nothing to say, oh, you're lucky. Oh, you're gifted. Or God bless you. God bless everybody with the work ethic. It's just, did you use the work ethic to obtain the goals that you want? Or did you sit your ass on there and do Netflix and chill all the time? But like I said, I did, this is a favorite subject of mine also. But I'll let you close it out, Alex. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's. I mean, this is this is one that's that's huge because it's one that people don't see at all. Like all the all the stuff that you just mentioned, all the training people go through, the failures people experience that eventually do become successful in the long run. People don't see what it took for them to get to that point and the sacrifices they made. And I remember when we first started this channel, we always talked about sacrifices, and sacrificing sleep is a sacrifice. I mean, there's, I mean, I've, you know, there's, if you want success, there's going to be days, there's going to be weeks where you are not sleeping your full eight hours that you would want to sleep. You're just not, you don't, you're not going to have time. And that's just what it takes. Would you rather live the life you're living and get eight hours of sleep? Or would you la rather live the life of your dreams and sacrifice sleep in the beginning? It's, you know, to me, it's a no brainer. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button. Let us know what you think down below, how, how many hours you sleep. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.